Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today I wanted to do a GBR test with a level 60 Jean Grey with and without her uniform. So we went ahead and built a very strong team for her. We've got Nick Fury's lead and his support, in addition to Wasp's tier 2 passive. Now the really great thing about Jean Grey, whether you're using her uniform or not for GBR, is that her leadership is the, the meta leadership for GBR. It's the um, debuff removal, which makes you, or debuff immunity, which makes it you know very difficult for you to get mind controlled, which makes it very difficult for you to turn on your teammates and kind of screw them up by killing them, or you know generally do things that would lose you the GBR run. But we're doing this actually to test her damage out, and we've got a CTP of um, destruction to try to land our procs on, and we've got generally a pretty bad uh, set of teammates. I wasn't trying to bring anyone along who was going to really, uh, you know, carry things for me to kind of skew the results, so you won't be too surprised when you see who I'm running with, but, um, you know, rest assured that I intentionally kicked players who were joining uh, with tier two, with tier three characters, because um, I was really just trying. I'm really just trying to get a grasp on how well she can do. And obviously, this damage is not very good. But what do you expect from a level 60 character in general? GBR, I would say, is probably the game mode that most closely requires tier three characters in order to do it well. Well, meaning you know, two to three minute clears. Uh, we don't really expect to take 10 minutes to kill uh, a boss and to do a game mode. But in the case of bringing tier two characters into GBR, that's exactly what you're in for. You're in for something that's going to take literally that long and, and no less. Uh, and so, uh, generally speaking, you want to proc, I think, on Jean Grey's fifth skill if you were going to. But honestly, her fourth skill does good damage, so I like to do four cancel five as well. You get some nice extra hits there. And her first skill actually does quite good. Uh, the damage there on, on one is actually quite good as well. So, we're having a little bit of trouble, obviously, grinding this down. This is taking two minutes to get through this part, so I don't imagine that with this current team, she would be able to uh, clear the stage, but I just want to see with an, with an average team, a below average team, how much damage I would individually be able to output. Now, my damage proc isn't exactly always stable on the fifth skill. One of my teammates actually already died, which is quite tragic. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very sorry for their loss, and I'm very sad to see them go. I think if they had, if they had survived, we, we, we definitely would have gotten it, boys. Uh, we definitely would have succeeded here, but we're down to 50 bars, not bad. It's, it's not pretty. It's definitely not pretty, but it not only illustrates her survivability, which is, you know, arguably better with this uniform than with her base kit, because obviously you get the extra stats, and you get the extra bonus stuff, and etc. Uh, all attack, all defense, but on top of that, you can see that the damage, well, we'll be able to see, I think, that the damage is going to be probably close to as good, if not better. And that first skill is doing pretty solid tier damage. Um, when you get that proc off, I think you know most of her skills actually proc well, which does indicate that maybe a CTP of Rage would be good for her. But we'll have to wait and see. But I'm just curious to see here what's, what it's going to say when the damage pops up. When well, when we end up getting him into his next phase, and then we see that the pop up here. I think we're almost there. We're very, very, very close. It's taking about three minutes and change, but we're, we're pretty close now. Uh, there we go. So it took three and a half minutes to do about 20 million damage. So that's a pretty good um, barometer to set. Three and a half minutes, 20 million damage. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, except we're going to be using her base look, and we're going to see how much damage she does there. Now we're going in with the same team, but this time Jean Grey has her uniform unequipped. And now normally I test out uniforms and I compare them to each other when I try to, and, I, and when I do so, I try to match up the energy attacks to see really what's going on in terms of which one is better and which one is worse. But in this case, Jean Grey's uniform does make that quite difficult because on the one hand, she doesn't have another uniform and let's be honest, she's probably not going to get one for a long time, if ever. Um, and secondarily, um, she has such a large stat boost from her uniform it just makes it very difficult to manipulate one that's not only going to match, you know, the base stats of any uniform, which is IE that, you know, plus minus all defense, all attack, but on top of that, the, the extra 15% uh, all attack. It's kind of like Rocket Raccoon. It's very difficult to uh, emulate that same stat number, and you have to really skew the odds in favor of the, you know, ununiformed version. Um, because the new uniform just has so many uh, extra bonuses. But in this case, I don't really think it makes sense. You know, 
Yes, she has 6,000 more energy attack roughly with her uniform because that's the uniform bonus. So if you were to match them, you're not really illustrating how the uniform makes her better because you're, you're giving her a shittier team when she doesn't have her uniform and then you're overcompensating for uh, her lack of a uniform. So we're going to see here how much damage I'm doing. I tried to amass another pretty bad team and it seems by the lack of the bar moving that we have done so. And again, Jean's 4 and 5 combo is really nice, but her other skills just don't cut it in terms of damage. And so you really just stand around and get ready to do 5 and 4. You do a nice, you know, chunk of a bar there, but then the rest of the time you're kind of just, you know, doing nothing. And so I, I do think that on top of having better, similar if not better damage, that her new uh, skills have, um, you know, just a better flow to them. The, the cooldown is a little bit better, um, and I don't find myself just sitting around doing nothing with Jean, waiting for skills to come off cooldown as often, or in some cases, auto-attacking, because you'd rather be doing something than um, nothing. But we've been, we've been decently lucky with getting procs to land. Uh, one guy got mind-controlled, so we have to be careful not to die here, but Jean is quite tanky with or without her uniform, so I don't see myself dying. Yeah, I don't think he can actually kill me, which is hilarious. Um, but we're going to try to proc all... We're going to do three, and that was garbage. Great. We completely missed our proc. Beautiful. Good old RNG. Screwing us on the potential and also screwing us on our proc. That one was good. There we go. We got a nice little bump there. But you can see that the damage is still really, really bad. And frankly, I think the damage is worse um, than it would be with her uniform and again you are missing the like 5,000 energy attack so that is something to take into consideration but we're substantially behind schedule here we were at three did I get interrupted I did get interrupted my four skill got interrupted as soon as I look up at the camera I get interrupted so that's awesome but the uh, we were about 30 seconds off at this point from getting him down to about 42 bars and we're about 20 bars off of that so you can see there I've done about 20 oh really I've done about 20 million damage but why is he why does he have so much more HP? Did he heal? Did someone heal him? Who healed him? Deadpool? How is this possible? Why is he at 64 bars still? Okay, so it seems as though she's done this is bizarre. I don't know. I guess I don't know as much about GBR as I thought I did. I've done about as much damage as the other Gene did in, in about the same time, but somehow instead of being at 40 bars, he's still at 62. So he's still 20 bars off. I must have missed a part where he got healed, because he was at 80 bars, I thought. And I thought I did 20 bars of damage, but apparently not. Um, but you can see that in general, Jean Grey, with this classic fit, um, with her regular look, her Phoenix look, while, yes, it's great that it's fire damage, yada, 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 um, you really only get damage from 5 and 4. 1, 2, and 3 really don't do any kind of notable damage, whereas with her uniform, you are going to get... Uh, man, come on, these procs are awful. With her uniform, you are going to get much more stable damage from all of all five of her skills. I think maybe her two skill is the only one that doesn't do very much damage. But we're already a minute um, over the previous time and I've just done over over just over 20 million so I do think it was less damage after all and for some reason it was also um, you know much better in terms of the timing uh, of the, the, the world boss uh, or the giant boss raid whereas this one's still at 55 bars. This makes no sense. If someone can explain this to me in the comments Maybe I have to watch back this replay while I'm editing and realize that some dum dum healed him. I, did I heal him? I mean, I have heals for myself. So does Deadpool and Wolverine, but that's basically it. I'm so confused. If there was like a Luna Snow or an Ancient One on the team, I can totally understand. But I don't really understand how these guys healed her. Anyways, it seems like it's going faster now. Maybe I needed my teammates to die? I don't know. Does, does them dying make the boss take more damage? There's no way, right? I completely missed my proc there, so that's really super cool. We skipped an entire proc just now. How did none of those hits trigger my... Okay, whatever. It's it's about it's close to a bar. It's not quite a bar, but you can see that this is going to take substantially longer. A apparently, he healed. Something happened along the way, and here we are. So I think we're going to call it here. Um, let me just meet you guys back in the main menu. So I haven't a clue what happened, but now we can take a closer look at Jean Grey, and we can see... Without her uniform, she's rocking just under, well, she's rocking 24,800, just under 25,000 energy attack. And then when you put it on from 25,000, she jumps up to 31,500. 
So she is rocking about 6,000 6, and a bit more um, energy attack with this uniform, but that is just part of the course. You do expect a character to be better when they have a uniform versus not. It's more difficult and it's more important to illustrate the differences between uniforms when a character has more than one uniform, like Captain America, Iron Man, etc. But when it's a character's first uniform, you're always going to see this very large bump, especially for characters like Jean Grey and Thanos, because it's a much larger bump. Look, it's a 29% all attack buff that she's getting. So even if you just upgrade the uniform a few times, you're automatically going to get way more energy attack out of it. Uh, and then on top of that, she has the 15%. So while you could skew the odds and you could skew the numbers in favor of the non-uniformed look, I think at that point, all you would be doing is kind of covering up what the truth is. And I honestly do think the truth is that this uniform is better. My testing, I think, is superior to other testing in the case of me not having to use a fire damage obelisk. I think if you're using a fire damage obelisk or if you're using an obelisk with mind damage, same same kind of difference, it's going to obviously skew your numbers in, in favor of one or the other. But I think that that giant boss raid was a pretty good example, not only of the fluidity of her skills and the fact that she's constantly casting skills, um, but the fact that she does as good, if not better, damage um, in less time. So that's really important. And if you look here at the cooldown, you've got 8 seconds, 12 seconds, 25, 12, and 15. And then we have 8 seconds, 12 seconds, 25, 12, and 15. So even though the skills have the exact same um, cooldown, it seems as though with X Men Red, with the X Men Red uniform, she just has a more fluid skill set. I'm not exactly sure how that is. I think it's the animations of the skills, um, because if you think about it, with her old uniform, her fifth skill basically has zero animation. She all she does is just turn on turn on the tornadoes, but you always do five cancel four. So really, the entire animation of the fifth skill is ca is kind of counteracted by the fourth skill. So you're basically combining that into one, and so you lose one skill animation. But when you have a character that has multiple iframe animation skills, whereas she has her fifth skill where she animates the giant ball and she throws it down, she has the fourth skill where she animates all those pink uh, kind of shields and then they shoot the lasers, that adds time. And when it adds time to the skill, especially when it's an iframe, like the iframe on five is quite long. And actually the iframe on three, I think is longer than the old three iframe, even though the old three iframe was better because it was a priority iframe that didn't need a target. Because the iframes on three and five are longer, you feel as though you always have a skill up next and you don't come to a situation where, and you don't play, you don't have a play style where you cast all your skills and you kind of just run around for three or four seconds waiting for the skills to come off cooldown because you've already comboed them all. It's kind of like the difference between playing um, a character like, I don't know, Sabretooth or Wolverine or something like that versus playing a character like Cable where you, you intentionally cancel really quickly or Apocalypse um, and you, you do all your damage and then you kind of just wait for a few seconds and then you do it all over again. Personally, I prefer this play style and I think that the more... The more time passes and the more testing we get done, uh, the more it will show that this Jean Grey uniform is a massive upgrade PvE-wise over her uniform. There's no doubt that it's a huge bump for PvP, but I do still think there's a lot of people out there who think that this is not an upgrade for PvE content, and I definitely think that it is. So let me know what you guys think of Jean Grey. Let me know how many more days you think it's going to take me to realize her potential. We are still sadly stuck at 56%. Hopefully I get it today on the live stream. If not, I'm scared. Anyways, hit me up in the comments down below. Let's have a conversation. Let me know what you think of Jean Grey and GBR. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to support me. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again later today. Take care.